Hey guys, Civil here, and today I'm going to show you the new Title Update 5 Dragon Trash Fruit builds. Dragon builds are the strongest out of all elements since they have insane synergies with Dragon Heart and Dragon Conversion, allowing us to hit for the first time over 300 element on a charge blade. In addition, we have Storm Cell, which only Dragon and Thunder can use. This is one of the reasons I have to make 5 build videos. However, you can still use the Ice Charge Blade build for all elements as a template, but it just won't be optimal. This video will contain a low budget DPS build, a min max DPS build, and a low budget high DPS build without the relation, since not everyone is a fan of it. The relation is not a big deal that people make it to be. We're using the Valstrax Charge Blade as always, and it will be augmented for max element. On the Ramper slot, you will go for Valstrax Soul, since it boosts your element by 20% when Dragon Blighted. So let's go straight to the builds. In order to make uh, build number 1 work, uh, the only RNG requirement will be Dragon Heart level 4 on the charm with some slots. You can use a Cyclos Melding if you want to be faster with getting it. This shouldn't take more than a minute. So as you can see in the footage, like you get like hundreds of them. So we're using 3-piece Narva Bushi for 15% Dragon damage due to Storm Soul. You also will have to roll uh, 2 levels of Dragon Conversion, either on the charm or on the Kurgus, which is also fairly simple. As you know, Dragonheart is active if you have 80% or less HP and is mandatory for this build to work. Without Dragonheart active, the whole synergy breaks, since it gives you plus 15 elemental resistances and enables your Rampage deck on Dragon Soul, which is another 20% damage. So you're basically missing like one third of your damage without that. However, with uh, Dereliction, that should be easy to achieve, since it constantly drains your health and you'll most likely never be above 80%. Besides this, we have the usual element increasing skills like Burst and Element Exploit level 3. Also Rapid Morph and Guard for SID comfort. Now obviously you can augment Narva armor for more slots and fit some extra skills of your choice, but I wanted to leave it as a low budget version without uh, more than one augment so you can use whatever you want. Decos used in this build are 1 Dragon plus 4, 1 Dragon, 3 Element Exploit, 1 Magazine plus 4, 1 Quick Switch plus 4, 1 Shockproof and 1 Chain. Recommended priority courier rolls or skills on charms as I said are Dragon Conversion. You should have 3 levels of it, it's a massive boost compared to 1. As well Strife will work and it's a quite a bit of extra element. Furious is useless however since with Dragonheart you reach the elemental resistance cap with this 50. That's why compared to the other builds we don't need any elemental resistances for Dragon. You really just need the Dragonheart. And moving on to build number 2. This build is min-maxed to the theoretically possible max rolls. Due to being able to get the multiple set skills through Kuri augments, we can get about 10% extra damage over a low budget build, or even up to 15% sometimes. Basically, the only additional skills are Strife level 3, 1 extra level of Burst, and 1 extra level of Dragon Heart, and some comfort skills like Extra Guard, which can be replaced with Weakness Exploit for more crit on melee hits. The charm will be a dereliction uh, 2 charm with Berserk 1, 2, 2, 2. Even though Berserk is optional, it's a good skill if you want to activate the stronger Strife effect instantly at the beginning by swapping scrolls back and forth. Because as you know, Strife uh, has an increased effect if your red gauge is 60% of your health bar. However, it's definitely not mandatory and easy to lose the red portion with a guard point from chip damage. So feel free to use any charm you want for this build. For example, you can use a Dereliction 2 charm, Dragonheart 3 charm, and it will up 3 level 4 slots, which is huge. Decos used here are 3 Dragon Spirit, 2 Dragon, 1 Hard Dragon, 1 Iron Wall plus 3, 1 Quick Switch plus 4, 3 Element Exploit, 1 Chain plus 4, 1 Chain, and 2 Magazine. For Curious Narva is again max out for best slot rolls since it's all you can have. And the other pieces have each some extra skills by removing irrelevant skills such as Dragon Resistance because you know how Kuris will work. It's basically a budget, uh, you can get lucky and get the skill removal which increases the budget of the Kuris rolls and you can get more skills uh, than 2 or 3. Build number 3 in here is a final build which is a no dereliction build. There is two options to build for it. One is Dragonheart and one with Furious. Thanks to Storm Cell 4, we get plus 1 to all skills, which fills up the build a little bit. This way you will need uh, only one Dragon Conversion, either on the Charm or Courier Roll. I have mine on the Charm, as you can see the build is complete with 0 Courier Rolls. 
max elemental resistance, max element exploit, and very simply everything, and it's low budget, just missing the religion. One dragon level 2, one hard dragon, three burst, one quick switch, uh, one magazine plus four, one element exploit, one element exploit plus four, and one shockproof. Recommended curious are Wirebug Whisper or other utility skills since we can't further boost uh, the element by much. You can actually go for Bloodlust and use Strife with it. This way you can get some extra element row and affinity. But I mean if you guys don't go for Dereliction I don't see why you would go for Bloodlust. They're both uh, health draining effects. Now if you don't want Dragonheart just replace Dragonheart with Furious since you will need to add uh, elemental resistance. Dragonheart without the Reliction can be hard to maintain, but it's an easy swap. Get a charm with 3 Furious instead or through Courier Rolls. Also upgrade the Narva slots for extra plus 4 element resistance jewels, it pretty much will be uh, around the same damage. This way you can also use Blood Raid in your build for health regen since you don't need any more to maintain below 80% HP since we removed Dragonheart. However, you will also have to upgrade for one Rampage slot and use Element Bane instead of Valstrix Soul since we don't have the Dragon Blight anymore on the second version of the build. Do you guys think they will add Storm Soul on a Charm or Kuri Augments on the last update? This will absolutely further break the system. In my opinion already some armors have lost their identity and have no point using since you can literally get everything cheaper from Kurios. So basically Rise right now is use whatever armor and roll the best possible curious on it. For example Frostcraft, like the, there is no reason to use Volcana armor most of the time. Sometimes one piece is sufficient though. And this was it again, hope you guys enjoyed the build video, if so make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future build videos. With that said I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.